To weather now, another hazy, hot, and humid day in West Michigan. I'm here now with Chief Meteorologist George Lessons, and there is some relief on the way, we hope, right? Yes, tomorrow. It's okay. going to be a whole different day. Today was a little bit different than yesterday. Not didn't feel quite as hot today, yeah. but you know, you get to a certain threshold, Kurt, right, and know. it's like, it's just hot. It's hot. It's just hot. Yes, our dew points have dropped. Yesterday at this time, our dew point was 79. That's that green number there. It's dropped to 69. Temperature, though, a little bit warmer because when you have less water in the air, it does get a little bit hotter. We're currently at 93 here in Grand Rapids. It feels like 98, not quite reaching the triple digit readings that we did yesterday. So nonetheless, it's hot, but not quite as hot. And there's the reason why dew points have dropped anywhere between about 5 and 10 degrees drier today than it was yesterday at this time. Nonetheless, heat advisory continues until 10 o'clock this evening. No more advisories expected here tomorrow. This morning's lows were in the mid and upper 70s. Even 80 in Holland, we will be not as hot here tonight. And if we don't fall below those readings by 1 a.m., these could set some of the warmest overnight lows for June 15th. Rather rare occurrence. Last time that happened, 1994. We've had a, just a couple of cumulus clouds back to the uh, east of us, but we're watching a line of some strong to possibly severe thunderstorms over Wisconsin where there's a tornado watch in effect. Some of those will be crossing Lake Michigan after about 10 o'clock tonight and may get into west of Michigan, but they'll be weakening by that time. Nonetheless, there is a slight or a category two out of five risk for the northwestern portion of lower Michigan with a little bit less risk for severe weather off to the south and east. So after those storms pass late tonight, it'll become breezy and less humid with nothing but sunshine tomorrow, 70 in the morning, 84 in the afternoon, and then a much more comfortable weather pattern as we get into the uh, the Father's Day weekend. There also might be a chance of a shower or a thunderstorm now on Father's Day itself. We'll take a look at the, we'll take a look at the risks of severe weather and the timing of those storms for overnight in just a few minutes. Officially our warmest day of the season here in Grand Rapids as we hit the mid 90s, but there is some relief coming our way. Let's check the 13 weather ball. It is blue, cooler and less humid weather in view, but we got to get to that with some showers and possible thunderstorms late tonight, and that's why the 13 weather ball is blinking bright. This view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Uh, 94 here in Grand Rapids. We had top honors here in in West Michigan, not quite a record high, but nonetheless within one degree of our forecast high of a 93. We started forecasting 93 about 10 days ago and uh, seven days in a row where we've been within three degrees of our forecast high. We missed by three degrees with our record high here in Grand Rapids, which was set back in 1894. Muskegon, second day in a row, you have set a record with 91. Came close in Holland and also in Kalamazoo, but it didn't quite make it, but another hot and humid day today. But that mini heat wave is coming to an end, courtesy of this cold front, which will push through gradually overnight. It will pass to our south and east by daybreak and eventually drop our humidity levels as well. Strong line of thunderstorms here. These have been severe thunderstorms. They're moving off to the northeast, and there is a risk one of those could make it across the lake late tonight after about 11 p.m. and get into northwest lower Michigan. We have a slight risk for severe weather. Two out of a category of five. Nonetheless, the highest risk will be back to our west. Our risk will come from damaging wind. It's only a medium risk right now and a low risk for some damaging hail. Our forecast confidence is not the greatest with this system as it crosses northern Lake Michigan. And again, it's from 11 p.m. tonight to about 4 a.m. tomorrow. We got sunshine now, but the skies are going to become cloudy between now and 11 o'clock. This is 11 o'clock. Here's that line of showers and storms approaching the West Michigan area. Notice from Fremont northward. Right now, that's where the heaviest storms are expected and by 7 a.m. skies will already have cleared in those areas. We got lots of sunshine expected throughout the day tomorrow. The good news is the heat and humidity will be evacuating the region as we get into Friday. Lots of sunshine as well. Very comfortable day up close to average highs for this time of year and we'll do that again during the day on Saturday. Plenty of sunshine until some high clouds come in late in the day and right now there's another little wave that may get into eastern lower Michigan on Father's Day. Uh, we'll update that as we get a little bit closer, but we did put a chance of a shower or a storm in the forecast for tomorrow. Big relief, lots of sunny skies, uh, southerly winds, mid 70s from Hart and Loving to north, 80 in Muskegon, 81 in Holland. That's down about 10 degrees, a low 80s up north, 83 there in Greenville. It will be breezy in the inland areas and including here in the greater Grand Rapids area it will be in the mid 80s. That's still a very warm day even for this time of year. 
13 on your side forecast. 76 on Sunday will be the coolest out of the next 10, but jumping to 89 as the heat and humid weather come in for another couple of days. Not as hot as this past couple of days. Nonetheless, 91 on the first day of summer on a Tuesday. Next week, still dry Wednesday through the following Saturday with sunshine and highs in the mid and even upper 80s.